Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Journey YouTube channel. There's a beautiful rainbow right out. I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys can see to the far left of the screen. Yeah, there's a rainbow. Like, can, but you can just see like maybe a quarter of it. It just, <laughs> you know, maybe you can see it, guys. It's bright, you know, from my view. But it kind of faded in the camera, you know. But yeah, I'm hoping you guys can really see it though. It's beautiful. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Journey YouTube channel. Alright, this video, well I was trying to show you guys the rainbow. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if you guys saw it, you know, like oh I am seeing it, you know. Maybe you you can't see it man because I, I, I saw a little a little thing in the camera, but it shows way brighter in person though, you know. Naturally. Anyways, this morning we're gonna do a video about chosen one. So but first we're gonna actually explain what a chosen one is. You get what I say because you know the word chosen one is just a broad term and whatever whatever whatever. I'm sure you guys want to find out like what a chosen one really is. So um a lot of prophecies, a lot of ancient prophecies um prophesied this time, I always talk about it. This time is the age of Aquarius, is the is, this is literally the great awakening of the earth, the great awakening of humanity. It's just a great awakening. It, it's um, everywhere in the universe right now. Because as I said, every dimension reflects each other. So every time you go down in a dimension, say so if you leave from the fourth to the third dimension, you're gonna find say, and the same thing really happen in a every dimension. It's just at a different rate of vibration. So it's gonna manifest differently. You get to me and say you're gonna observe it differently. But uh, really the same thing happen at every di dimension, at each and every dimension, you know. You get to me and say so every uh, the same thing happen. I'll try to explain that in a different video, but you know, I'm open up and grasp it as I said a while ago. You know, and the same thing happens in every dimension. Just for this moment in this, this moment in the universe, this time in the universe is literally the great awakening of humanity. And in the great awakening of humanity, I got realize that the universe chooses a certain group of people where we carry out, we actually lead and help guide the rise in consciousness. You get what I say? So we are bringing the new wave of consciousness, we are bringing the age of Aquarius by bringing the information from the higher dimensions down here in the third dimension. So you find the information where we were here before because the earth was vibing at a, 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 a higher rate before the earth was existing at, 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 at the earth was existing as a multi-dimensional plane where you could actually move through dimensions. It is still a, it, earth is still a multi-dimensional existence, you get what I say? But over time the dimensions them get closer, certain portals get closed because of transition and everything go through changes, you know. While earth, while while the transition, while earth go through our transition, certain of the portals them get closed because they were supposed to get closed because of the stage where she did then at the time. Now she complete a full cycle and now she debuff she, she's at the peak of her she's at the peak of her actually of her existence. You get what I say? She's actually reached her heightened state of consciousness already where the beings used to exist here like beings from Atlantis and civilizations like Mesopotamia, ancient Egypt not even ancient Egypt, ancient, ancient Egypt is very new it's a very new civilization when you check it out because the beings them they reach a further state of enlightenment than even um, the beings of Atlantis and Mesopotamia, Lymeria were reached a heightened state of consciousness, a higher state of consciousness than even the Egyptians. You get what I say? So the earth constantly go through cycles and periods, and, if this, and in this period she literally chose. So that's why we are called chosen one. She chose a certain group of people. The universe, you know, chose a certain group of people. The great mother chose a certain group of people from the higher dimensions. So incarnate in the lower dimensions, if, meaning the 3D, which, which we are in now, the 3D. And we all know that the shift, the age of Aquarius brings a shift from the 3D state of consciousness to the um, 5D state of consciousness. That, that's what they say. That's what you will find in most esoteric readings. You get what I say? But this current shift is not just from the 3D to the 5D. It's also from the, it's, it's all the way to the, every other dimension. And we all know that the dimensions are infinite. So we literally just are open portals. We're not really a shift consciousness really. We are open portals for letting higher, higher level of consciousness in the earth. You get what I'm saying? That's what we are doing at this time. That's the transition that is taking place. The earth is going to be ruled by a higher, higher state of consciousness. Because for the past eons, the past years have passed, for the years that have passed, 
a lower level consciousness have been ruling the earth. You get to me say, which is why it manifests this way, which is why you have slavery 9 to 5 systems and some shit. We're not supposed to exist in our planet like this. At this stage of in our evolution. You get to me say? But as we all know, everything happens for a reason. I always explain that everything happens according to divine plan. So why still don't worry yourself about something where the universe are do? You know, you just a part of it and you come to experience it. So as me say now, the chosen ones them. The chosen ones are the 144,000 light workers that were chosen, that were prophesied, you know, that were chosen by the universe, by God, by whoever you think, whatever, whatever you call the force what, that is keeping everything alive, whatever you call that force, that is who chose um, 144,000 light workers to incarnate in the, in, in the lower dimensions so that they could bring knowledge from the higher dimension, from dimension 6, 7, 8, 5, any dimension above the third dimension. To incarnate, you know, so the universe chose beings from higher dimensions to incarnate in the lower dimensions, which is in Earth right now, so that they could bring the same knowledge. Because once they existed in the dimension, well, they can't exist because you know time, time fluid. Once they exist in the dimension, it means say uh, whatever knowledge you acquire in the dimension. So if it's a being from the ninth dimension, when you incarnate in the Earth, you will carry that same knowledge from the ninth dimension in your incarnation on the Earth. So that's where you find the uh, beings used to incarnate here, like Jesus Christ. I'm going to use Jesus Christ because no one can relate to the name And Yeshua Ben Pantora to who can relate to the name Yeshua Ben Pantora. That's the name of the figure where they um, call Jesus Christ. You get to me, I say? You find beings like Christ, Buddha, Yesh, um, Shiva, all the other ascended masters who actually come down from time to time. And them, these beings are beings from higher dimensions. That's why they could do things where the average human being could do. Which is why people call them gods, because them literally them come from higher dimensions. They are not really gods. They are just a, a higher version of yourself. Them literally is a, just a different version of yourself. Every human have the capability to do what Jesus Christ did do. Every human have the capability to do what um, Buddha did do. Every human being have the capability to do what Shiva did. You get what me? I said that's all the ascended masters really came to show us, you know, guys. They didn't come to say, "Oh, worship me as a god." No. None of them didn't ask for that, but human beings, because they saw the potential of these beings, they just started worshipping them as gods, you know, because <laughs> that's how human beings were at the time. You get what I say? And some still are like that. You get what I say? But, you know, we are not gods, we are just, in this time, we are chosen in, the, in a mass number. The Bible spoke about it, we are chosen in, in a mass number at this time to come and carry out the work with the same type of work that you saw Jesus Christ carrying out. Buddha carrying out and Shiva and all the other ascended masters and the gods them the gods them um, that they were called we are really gods you know but I know that human beings have a, have a habit of when you say when you use the term god them looking at you like you are something bigger than them or whatever no the term god doesn't mean that you know and I'm going to explain the term god and why we are gods in a different video but this video is about 144 um, this is a video about um, chosen ones, right? And six signs that you are a chosen one. So, uh, well, I just, sorry guys, I just told you guys what chosen ones are. We are the 144,000. So, chosen ones are the 144,000 light workers um, that the universe chose in this time to help with the awakening of the Earth's consciousness. In the help to help raise the earth's vibration to a higher state of consciousness to higher states of consciousness you get what I say? so that's the purpose and the duty of the chosen ones so literally our higher dimensional beings beings from dimensions like 9th, 8th, 10th, 12th, 13th dimension because the dimensions are infinite guys there is no 11 dimensions no dimensions are infinite just like, just like everything in life it is infinite you get what I say? so you find the beings with Certain levels of consciousness are going to be incarnating here now like never before. Knowledge is going to be brought to the earth. New knowledge, yeah, because, you know, knowledge, new knowledge is going to be brought to the earth now too. Because even though we know that all knowledge is here and it is going to be recycled, you know, the same knowledge that was here from Lemuria and Mesopotamia and the ancient civilization that reached the, the highest state of consciousness on the earth, that type of information is going to be easily accessible like in the next six years. You know, the wave already started at the age of Aquarius, people. I'm sure it's going to see the shift. 
information is more readily available to people right now than ever. Once upon a time, you used to have to go to the library for information. Now, information is, in, information is all over the internet, readily accessible. You know, the age of Aquarius, you know, information is the age of enlightenment, the age of shedding light for everything that was hidden. That's why we call the teachings and the practices now that we are doing, we call it um, occult, occult teachings. I mean hidden, it was hidden from the mass public. So now we higher dimension being we chosen ones from the higher dimension. We just come back with the knowledge. It is embedded in our DNA, you know. And at a certain point in our year life, if you are a chosen one, you are going to have a spiritual awakening. Which means say, you already plan your life from the higher dimension. But because you know the importance of your work or you have to carry out on earth. You make sure that you program the knowledge and the time period, the time clock in the DNA of the being that you are incarnating in to go off at a certain time period in them life. So that's how we have spiritual awakening. So, signs now, the first sign that you are a chosen one, you have a spiritual awakening. So that's a number one. You go through a spiritual awakening. A spiritual awakening, guys, is when you realize say, life, there's a spiritual side to life and not everything is physical. There's a way how things work. You have to realize that there are illusions in the world. There are things were set, set up for trap you. You just start to see past every illusion because your third eye go open, which is the first eye. The first eye go open. So that means you, you can see through every illusion. You get to me, I say, nobody can trick you again. The world can trick you. You get to me, I say, the world can tell you, say, money make you rich again because you're smarter than that. Your third eye open. So you know, say, you're already rich. So no guy can fool you with money again. You get to me, I say, so that means you cannot be a slave. So we're going to have a spiritual awakening. That's a number one. Number two, um, chosen ones are normally smarter because we come from higher dimensions. You get what I say? And with life, every being, every being exists in every dimension, you know. But, as I say, time fluid. So, you know, a being in a third dimension probably not even have knowledge, not even can retain the knowledge from the tenth dimension. But because you have been to the tenth dimension so many times back and forth, you know, you will remember everything from the tenth dimension and can manifest it in your DNA if you come preach about it in the three D. In a, tree, in a third dimension, you get what I mean? So we actually way smarter than the average individual because our soul more evolved. We soul more evolved and you know say evolution happens through time, through the more experience you have and the more you learn. So you know, high dimensional beings all we are is just beings that have been here. We are old soul, we are just beings that have been here forever, you know? From the dawn of the universe we're there. So that's that's why we have so much knowledge and that's why we exist in a higher dimension. You know, we go through a lot of experiences for raise with consciousness. And as I said, life is all about evolution. So the more you evolve, the more you incarnate and, and go through experiences, and the more your soul evolves. That is the purpose of life that in you know, the beginning. That's the purpose of life same way. You know? So that's the second sign. We are way, way smarter. Even in a school, we are way smarter. Where the kids them we are, we get the, the A grades in a school, they get to me and all of that. Um, Number three, we are more sensitive, we are hyper sensitive, so we are sensitive to sound, some of we are sensitive to noise, a lot, some of we are sensitive to light, some of, some of we are sensitive to scent, some of us are sensitive to scent, some of us are sensitive to um, tears, you know, we just, some of us are sensitive to the environment, so we have a lot of um, environmental allergies and all those stuff, you get to me, so that's number three, we are more sensitive, we are more sensitive in the fact that yo, somebody, you know, they, they, they call us, you know, they, they normally call chosen ones too sensitive. They say, oh, you're too sensitive, you know. No, but we're not too sensitive, you know. That's how the average human being is supposed to behave. You're supposed to be sensitive. Once your nervous system is working properly, you're supposed to be super sensitive. You know, and the strength of your nervous system determines how you sense things. You get to me, I say? So no, don't make nobody tell us you're too sensitive. You know, it means your nervous system is strong. Number three. Well, no, that's a number three. Number four, no. Um, we're more reserved, we're introverts. So you find that so we're not too outspoken, we're not too loud. We're not the loud people in the world. But we are going to be the people in the back of the classroom where quiet, they're not hear much from we. And then when the test come, we are the one them we see in the one, two, three spots. That are, that, those are chosen ones, you know. We are very quiet, very reserved, you know. We always now head space because, you know, we always have conversations now head. Because we have the ability to talk to our self, you know, literally converse with the higher self. So sometimes you see we just a look and we're quiet and people say, oh, you're so quiet. No, we're not really quiet, you know. We have a deep conversation now head with a being where somehow we don't even know they exist. You get to me, I say, maybe if I tell you now, so I actually have a conversation now, I say, I'm mad now. You see it? So, <laughs> yeah. So that's a number four. Number five. 
chosen ones, you know, number five, the fifth sign that you're a chosen one is you know, you just you come with a higher vibration, people hate you for no reason, you get to me answer because people hate you for no reason and people love you for no reason. So that's a number five. You can find things in your life as you go around. Some beings are gonna just hate you because number one, you are find there are two sides in this world, negative and positive. So the beings them will actually are rule, they know you by a name and number. They know you from your incarnate, they know the date, they know everything about your brother, I tell them know everything about you, the things that are working. Where do you think your birth certificate is um, taken when you're born? When, you are, when, when your mother um, push you out? When you are given birth to? Your birth paper is literally sent to an elite, an elite group, you know. Some pale skinned people who run this world right now, you know. And based on your birth the time that you were born, the date that you were born and all of that, them, them can tell everything about you based on your astrologic, astrological chart. Now, that's how dangerous astrology is, you know. Once these people know the time of your birth, the date of your birth and the hour, they know everything about you. So the birth certificates are sent straight there. You get what I say? They know everything about you based by your blood type too. Every, them, them can test the frequency based by your blood. So you give them your blood and they can know exactly who you are based by your blood. You get what I say? And they know about reincarnation too. So they, these people know that we were gonna come back. It was prophesied. They, they know that we were they, they know that we were gonna come back in this time. So I don't know, maybe they didn't believe. I don't know. Maybe they didn't believe, you know, but we are here and we are we have the knowledge and we are all over the internet. You see it for yourself, we are all over the internet, you get what I say? So as so number six you now, six sign that you are chosen one, light worker. You just have a you have a strong, a strong, a strong, a strong feeling. You know, like a strong it's a strong calling, you know, for purpose. You just have a strong sense of purpose about you. You just know from ever since you were smaller that yo something great there, you know, something great supposed to come out of your life, you just did have that strong knowing there, that strong sense of purpose there, that yo, your life is not a waste, you just always know that you have a purpose in life, from ever since you were young, you know, from maybe, from, from you were three years old, you knew that you had, you had a purpose, and growing up throughout life, that, 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 that lingering thought was there, there's a purpose in life, you are here for something great, you are here for something great, yeah man, so we come with that calling there, that's a reminder, say, it, uh, that's a reminder so that you don't waste your time and get caught up in the mundane in what is happening in the world so you have a reminder in your head say yo you're here for a purpose you know so have a strong sense of purpose so that's number six guys big up the journey youtube channel one love peace out